Hello. We're going to read this story, Safari So Good, all about African wildlife. Written by Bonnie Worth. Illustrated by Aristes Ruiz and Joe Mathedo. I'm the cat in the hat. Pack your bag. Come with me. We're going to Africa on a safari. Pack your sunglasses and your sun hat. Remember your camera. Do not forget that. You've got front row seats in my animal viewer. The truck we will take on our African tour. In the African game park, we will be getting the chance to see wildlife in a natural setting. But here is a fact I will tell you today. Animals are predators, or else they are prey. Predators hunt weaker animals to munch. Prey tries hard not to be a predator's lunch. Off to the river. We will go first. Here animals come to quench their thirst. Look at those war hogs trip trot over there. Mom, dad, and piglets with tails in the air. African buffalo graze where it's wet. Their horns look like of a sturdy helmet. Grass, 90 pounds, a hippo eats nightly. Are the babies called calves? Yes, you have guessed rightly. A hippo's skin can burn in the sun's rays. Mud and water protect her, so that's where she stays. Let's move on to the lions with their tawny hides. They live all together in groups known as prides. A cub has brown spots from his tail to his ear. At three months of age, all those spots disappear. Lions like sleeping for most of the day. Their roars rattle windows from miles away. The cheetah is covered with sleek spotted fur. The cheetah can't roar, but oh, she can purr with long, strong legs. The cheetah has the power to run up to 70 miles per hour. Cheetahs run fast, and here is the scoop. Cubs sometimes play soccer with elephant poop. Speaking of elephants, here is the word. Fifty or so can be in one herd. Male elephants can grow to 11 feet high. 
and weigh over 10 tons. Hello there, big guy. Calves walk from day one and have some body hair, which soon all rubs off due to life's wear and tear. The whole herd will circle and sound the alarm and crowd round the young ones to keep them from harm. Two kinds of rhinos? Oh, you are right. One is called black, the other's called white. But both rhinos are gray in Dick's camera's sight. So how do we tell the black from the white? A white rhino's lips are wide like a bow. He nibbles at grass, his head hanging low. A black rhino's lips are agile. With these, he reaches out to crop low leaves from the trees. Is that oxpecker bird hitching a ride? No, she's eating the ticks on the white rhino's hide. The zebra belongs to the horse family. Those stripes tend to make her quite tricky to see. They all look alike, but please bear this in mind. Each zebra has stripes that are one of a kind. Zebras rarely lie down and sleep on the ground. They sleep standing up. Predators might be around. And here's a question to stump you, all right? Are they white with black stripes? Or else black striped with white? At birth, giraffes drop six feet to the ground. In minutes, they're standing and looking around. All giraffes forage, it is plain to see. Here's one with her head in an acacia tree. Her 18-inch tongue and her tough, spongy lips help her to eat the leaves' sharp, thorny tips. Giraffes have big eyes with long lashes that bat at the dust and the grit and the bugs and all of that. With strong legs and hooves and a good bit of trying, they can often outrun a lioness or a lion. Safari, so good. Let's find a campsite where we will pitch our tent and stay for the night. The dog over there is the side-striped jackal. He welcomes his mate with a loud howling crackle. The galago's eyes, when they catch the light, glow green like a cat's in the dark of the night. They spot the hyena, goes looking to eat, the dead or dying a scavenger's treat. In the wee morning hours, herds of antelope roam.
over 20 kinds call Mother Africa home. We have just enough time to look at a few, so I'll pick out some different kinds to show you. Elon is the largest. It measures six feet. The royal antelope, 10 inches petite. And don't miss the sight, whatever you do, of the twirly horned, handsome, greater kadu. Impalas are smaller. Here's how to ID them. Stripes on their rear ends form a bold letter M. A head like an ox and a mane like a horse, a beard like a goat, a wildebeest, of course. Let's find one more antelope if we're able the Bashville soft-coated sickle-horned sable. All of these antelope can run fast, and so the fast will survive, not as often the slow. Our safari is ending, but for goodness sakes, Let's stop for one look at two of my favorite snakes. This mighty rock python squeezes its prey. Snakes called constrictors behave in this way. The carpet vipers, a small snake that everyone heeds. Its fangs inject poison, it lurks in the weeds. Safari, so good. Home again like a shot. Just look at the great photographs that we got. Which ones are your favorites? Which ones turned out the best? Some turned out all fuzzy, but we'll save the rest. My number one favorite? Oh, take a wild guess. If you said the lions, I'd have to say yes. And that's the end of the story.